Okay, so it's time for us to start uh, waterproofing. Uh, we have this section that I've been uh, working on almost dry. I'm gonna start from this corner in the meantime. What I will be using, I will be using fiberglass mesh tape. This type of tape. Uh, and uh, it's six inches wide and uh, red guard waterproofing membrane. to seal all the corners and let me show you how it works uh, of course I will be cutting out uh, the mesh tape to specific length for the corners I have pieces uh, that are already also pre-cut kind of cut in the center so it will nicely wrap the corner like this so let me let me start with what I will be doing. I'm pretty much I'm starting from the uh, against the walls first, and then once this is done all the way around, I will uh, work on the main floor. But the way this will work, I'm pretty much applying this membrane on the floor and then a little bit on the wall because uh, I mean this way it will stick to the tape the way it's supposed to. We don't have to fill all the space between the drywall and the booth and the floor. Uh, just enough for tape to, to hold How it will be done. You can apply this membrane with with, the, with something like this. You can use brush. You can use a, a roller. Either one should should work. So this is it. Let me start from this longer piece. So what I'm doing. This is pretty much the way it will go. Once uh, the membrane will penetrate the mesh tape, it will fill all the spacing, it will dry, uh, transferring this mesh tape to almost like rubberized membrane that we're using on a, uh, shower pads. So it's important to have a, a tape with a micro holes, and only this way. It will do the trick for the corner. I have this piece. See, this is how it will go in the corner. said here this part of the room I'm waterproofing just in case uh, in a worst case scenario pretty much mm, the 
goal is to uh, to do this uh, right next to the shower and of course in the shower. Here I'm waterproofing the the whole thing simply if, to avoid any potential problems later. Yeah, here. When working with the tape, I'm always using this type of device, this type of spackle troll to work nicely on the corners because later tasks will go all the way to the corners. So we want to make sure we have a nice 90 degree corner uh, still present. And on the remaining surface, like flat part, most likely just to speed it up the process slightly, I will be using. Uh, roller with a paint, painter's roller to, to do it. All right, we're getting to the shower. I already did a little bit over there. I'm not keeping my way out still, I'll work on the main part later. But now I'm starting with a shower. So, of course fiberglass mesh tape is a must. And uh, membrane, you can use uh, Redguard, you can use similar product uh, to do so. I'm, I'll be cutting of course this mesh tape too. Smaller pieces, smaller strips, and applying. On the surface, About four inches high is definitely enough. important one This way we will have the major seams that we have against the wall waterproof. There are some systems, shower systems that will, uh, where you pretty much doing only this. You don't even have to put shower pen liner. But I'm not 100% uh, 
uh, sure about those new techniques uh, doing both will give us a hundred percent proof that we are not going to end up with any leaks later so so we will apply all this membrane on top of the, sh the concrete on top of uh, on top of the main floor and again corners once again I mean you can apply it the way I'm applying it right now it's the best tool to do it for the corners the most of the flat surface uh, you can easily use a roller brush with a, with a roller and it will work just fine too. cement floor you don't have to put this mesh tape the mesh tape is necessary in every transition when wall meets floor or any corner because this is when later you might possibly have some movements so the mesh tape actually will be working with those movements will not cause membrane to crack um, here on the remaining surface uh, we will adjust membrane Two coats should be enough. So this is how it slowly progresses. Okay, another important part to remember, like I said, are we putting this tape on every corner and every, every joint here where we have the pen meeting with this quarter inch board because our floor starts going lower to the subflooring here right at this moment in this space we have transition here so the goal is to of course put the tape through this transition so if any movement will appear we have the uh, solid surface that will not uh, fracture and uh, will not cause any water to penetrate. This is also fracture membrane. So, so this is it. And what I will do, I will want to apply it here. This is our position. This tape. Good to wear some gloves. I don't have gloves, but I know I will have a difficulties removing this membrane later from my hands. It sticks pretty well. So I'm going to put this tape here in a transition when 
where the quarter inch board meets with the half inch board. Same situation, same size of fiberglass mesh tape. And process to do everything correctly it takes time definitely it's this type of projects as I, like I said cannot be rushed step by step installation pieces you can use shorter pieces there's no really specification you see that this side is already waterproof all the way against the wall So we got to the point where we have entire floor waterproofed. It continues almost to the carpet. Now we have to leave it for several hours to dry to the point where we can nicely tile the surface, all the corners. shower floor
tomorrow we will move forward with the tiling and I will also show you a few pictures maybe some movie how the tiling goes but at this point we're pretty much ready for some nice tiles to be put in and closer to the end of this week for homeowners to start using this nice bathroom thank you for watching and if you will follow my steps I know you'll be successful once again it's not the easy project many homeowners don't really know what it takes to make it happen but like I said before it's uh, something that has to be done with precision without rushing uh, step by step to have this type of cordless shower working for a long time because this is our goal to make sure that it will work for a long time not for a year or two before it will start leaking so this is the way to go Another day on our project, we've been uh, waterproofing, uh, the, we've been doing final waterproofing yesterday. Uh, we're back today, everything is dry, the, the light pink color of red guard turned to darker red, which is uh, the, the way it reacts when it dries. And uh, the very next step will be to, of course, start tiling. I will start from the floor. Uh, so we have this surface covered so there's uh, no any chances for Redguard to get damaged at any point when installing wall tiles uh, uh, so I'll be starting from the uh, shower pan and floor and then main floor not too many tiles to put in but uh, like as you've seen it's tight space and uh, we have to make sure that we will do the maximum. So, so yeah. So this is it. I'm still getting ready. I will be figuring out the layout, and we'll throw some pictures so you can see how this part progresses. Everything nice and ready. Okay, so we're slowly moving forward with the tiles installation. <coughs> we have uh, first pieces already in place. Um, the tile work will continue all the way about 36 inches on the walls. And of course the shower space. So we have first pieces already on the wall. The floor is finished. Uh, and this is how it looks like. Okay, so we are back on our project. Uh, today we will be grouting. I have already grout mixed and um, water blows. But quick update we finished all the tile work yesterday, so everything is in place. It's ready to be grouted. This is how it looks before grouting. The grout will be the last part of the tiling job and tomorrow we will put some sealer and we will also install toilet and vanity and also new mirror. So this is how it looks right now. 
once again a cool blast shower here in progress uh, as you can see no curb one one of the tips to give you and pretty much it's uh, good for every every type of shower job to lay the shower floor first before you lay the walls this is how I did on this project and this is how I'm always doing this way water will not be getting behind the tiles or if there will be some it will be very little so there will be no any problems with the mold etc etc and this is it so this is how it looks like now homeowners very pleased this is what they've been waiting for for a long time and we ready to grab it. so i'll show you the final pictures once we through with the entire job all right so we back and now project uh, everything is finished all the tile work in place all fixtures installed and of course toilet vanity we have mirror also here and yes yeah, so the project finished everything looks really nice pretty much painting is the only thing left but homeowners will handle this part of the job themselves so here assuming we have curbless shower with no curb uh, wheelchair accessible for a handicapped person uh, we have those bars just also for that purpose so it's safer and uh, yes I mean the, type, the space is really tight, this is a very small bathroom but we've managed to have the shower 5x4 in diameter the shower base, shower floor and still be able to fit vanity and toilet the toilet, we moved the toilet the vanity is also smaller from what it used to be but, um, but yes, so we made this homeowner's life easier and a little bit more convenient in a situation that they are so this is how it looks like tiles, porcelain tiles mixed with some stone accents and yes so, so this is it, the slope starts somewhere here and it continues all the way to the drain it's about an inch of a difference where from where the drain is to the level of the floor plenty of space over here for water to collect when showering and yes yeah, so I know they'd be very pleased I'm very happy with the way the project turns out and as always another great looking bathroom in our collection so Thank you for following up with me, for watching and hopefully you found this project interesting some interesting information that you might use when working on your own job so thank you and please check our website you will find plenty of pictures from many other jobs that I finished in the last five, six years. Michael Talmaster saying goodbye and Merry Christmas because we have, a matter of fact, December 21st, 2012. So we almost have a Christmas and we also supposed to see the end of the world today. That is not coming, so hopefully it's going to stay that way.